Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another LOL OMG unboxing. Today we have the Fierce Cleopatra 2022 Collector's Edition doll. She is probably the last of the Fierce dolls that we're actually going to see. It's a little disappointing. I liked the bigger bodies. I liked the articulation. This doll, when she came out, was like $100. I got her on sale on Amazon for Prime Day for, I want to say, like, like 33 or something like that. It was ridiculously low priced because this was a doll I'd been eyeing because her accessories are amazing, but I don't really collect and display my OMG dolls. I just steal their fashions. And $100 was too expensive to get a Cleopatra costume for my Cleo Denial Monster High doll. So... I waited until she was on sale. I had seen her pop up a couple of times at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx for like 60 something, which was fine. I was not gonna pay it for that though. When she dropped down into the 30s, I said, okay, fine, I'll get her. Um, she's got a really big box, as you can see. Like, she's very pretty. She's got a whole big thing here on the back. I love the artwork, I love the box. The only problem I have is that it does not stay closed because the little sticker on top um, is kind of melted. But she's really pretty. But let's see. So here is her UPC and item number in case you want to try to find her in stores still. Um, I don't remember her actually coming into actual stores, but she's so pretty. And it opens up like a scarab beetle. She's really pretty inside there. I just know it's gonna be a nightmare to unbox her though, because the winter one last year was a nightmare to unbox, the special edition regular OMG doll. But we take her out. Just like that, we've got some instructions down here. Oh, no, just the standard things. Standard minutia. So we only need to worry about this part of the box now, which is a little bit easier. As you can see, she is very, very pretty. She's got a cape, she's got this beautiful gown, She's got all these really awesome accessories. Those earrings are to die for. She's got actual chains on her bracelets. One of her bracelets is hanging. Um, I don't know how long this doll's been in the box, but very cute. All of this back here is taped, which is, ugh. I, I have a love-hate relationship when they tape down the little tabs because yes, I know it's important that they be taped down, that the doll be secured, but at the same time, I'm like, oi, makes me miss the staples sometimes. But we're gonna try to get her out without too much chaos. I'd like to keep this box in decent shape uh, just because it is such a pretty box. But if it gets to the point where it's taking me too much freaking time, I am just going to tear it. got most of the outer box unhooked now at least. Because of course there's a shell and then there's what she's actually attached to. Why wouldn't there be a shell, right? Okay. So there she is without the initial reflective material, which is good. 
Her back, her background is really holographic, which is part of the thing that I want to maintain. Okay, we can kind of just slide her cape out, which I'm glad about. She's got a couple of staples down here at her feet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get some of these off. Okay. That's one. That's okay. Some of these small ones, it's just easier to actually take them apart or just to rip them off. Um, but I do try to avoid that. We're gonna take this part off so we can actually get her stand out. Hmm. Okay, there's her other bracelet, which is really cute. Um, now let's see. I'm trying to decide what the easiest way to get these off is going to be. I think it's going to be hitting it from back here. It's always fun trying to get all these things out, right? Who doesn't love that? Me. I am not of the mind that a doll should be this maintained in a box. Okay. Those two were simply to hold her little tiara in place. Look at that. Just to hold the tiara. Not attached to her head at all. Love it. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. One more thing on there. Okay. So there is the background, which is awesome. It is amazing. I love it. And I'm a little irked because part of the tape pulled through. I'm trying to make sure it does not screw up my pretty background. Yes, our Egyptian throne looks so cool here in the background. Definitely keeping that box, or at least the part that I could fold flat. But here she is in all of her finery, looking very cute. Her cape is not attached to her for some reason but it is very cool. 
This is actually embroidered. So you can see the embroidery is on there on the cape. On six spots, not all of the designs are embroidered, unfortunately. Uh, but really cool, and she's got wings on the side. We're gonna try to get her out of there. I'm gonna do it on top of plastic. Okay. And we've got some shoes down here too. Still one of these. There we go. Okay. Uh -uh -uh. We're getting there, we're getting there. Why does this not work? This part's fighting me, guys. I don't really want to... Okay. And there's our little stand that we've got. I do love some of these fierce stands because they're saddle stands which are a little bit better fitting. Let's see. Well, we got one last thing that's holding stuff on. Okay. That's it on that side. Oh no, there's two. One of them is they're each holding on to part of that uh, chain. That's fun. I was like, why is this standing up? Uh, okay. Now she is very cool. I honestly don't remember a Cleopatra lol doll at any point but you know it could just be a cleo ripoff kind of thing mga does it to mattel mattel does it to mga everybody's happy uh, okay try to cut off some of these obnoxious or bands that are holding things in place randomly. Okay. Dang it. I don't know how. Oh, these are foam. Never mind. I was a little worried about putting these back in there and then figured out these little bracelets in her hair or little eyelets whatever they're called not eyelets oh I know there's a word for them and I cannot for the life of me remember these little bracelets are also made out of like a softer material so they don't really hold together as well I don't think um, but really cute like I'm not mad at any of this her hair is a little messy but look at that look at those shoes they're so cute We've got really pretty overdress. 
Again, her hair is a little messy here in the back from where she was shoved into the box. She's got a little bit of tinsel hair, um, but still really cute. Here is her bracelet. Again, real chains, or not bracelet, uh, belt. Very pretty. I think that might be the best piece that's gonna be easily translatable to the other dolls. There we go. We've got this very pretty overskirt. Has a nice Velcro and corset built in. Let's see. So, we've got, hmm. So we can just easily remove that with taking our hands off because these are OMG dolls. They are designed to have those um, removed. And you know what, I'm gonna take off her bracelets and stuff. So this is the upper arm band. Again, it needs to be uh, reformed, I think. It's a little loose. Um, but really cute. And this is the lower armband, and again, there's three chains that run between those. Her hands are a very pretty mold with some nice gold nails on there. Again, a little bit of a different mold on this side. Very pretty. Um, and then the same armbands for the other arm. Now we've also got, I'm not sure how this is put on because I don't want to break it. Oh, okay. So this necklace snaps on there in the front that jewel is actually the clasp. So that's awesome. A little bit hard to shove it back on, but it also means it's gonna stay on a little bit better. Um, this reminds me of that boy Monster High character, the Pharaoh one that was Cleo's love interest in Gen 1. And I'm like, this would be perfect for a model, for a one of a kind of him. Now, I was hoping that this little capelet thing, which does have these parts back here, which these are the sleeves, I was hoping that was gonna be a separate piece. It's not, it's part of the dress by the looks of it. Okay, we're gonna check this out. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So again, here is the dress. It's very cool. We do like that. Uh, I wish this looked a little bit neater here in the back because um, these are just kind of free floating back here and this is kind of free floating. I do need to like steam this to get it to lay correctly so that way it will uh, actually lay down. But such a pretty face. Here are earrings again very well painted two real chains hanging off there and a matching one for the other ear Whoop. very very cute and then our last piece of jewelry is the standard multi-ring collar very cute, we've seen that done before. Oh, 
got to use a little more force to get these off safely. So there's shoe one and shoe two. Very cute, they are different molds. They're the same like basic shoe on the bottom almost, uh, except the design snakes down further on this one. And then we've got that thigh holster part. Very, very cute. Uh, and again, we looked at her little uh, foam braid holder things. I'm actually going to hold those up. And we're gonna use just a little bit of force to get this hair unboxified. Because again, it's just a little bit of gel that's in there usually. Uh, but I love the tattoos that are painted on her arms. Uh, I love the multi-tone eyeshadow and her vibrant green eyes. She, like the rest of the OMG Fierce dolls, has uh, articulation there at the elbow, at the wrist, hips, knees, and ankles. Uh, I wish that regular LOL dolls had this articulation on the legs. It would be awesome, but they do not. Uh, I'm not quite sure how this part's supposed to go on. I guess it's supposed to go on over the head. Or maybe it's supposed to come up under the over the body. Can't imagine that elastic stretches that far. Get around these big bulbous heads. So it's very cool when I, mean, I put it on backwards actually. Uh, quite sure how you're supposed to wear this cape, but it's very cool in theory. I do wish that it had some little handholds here on the edge for the wings. I do love that it's got embroidery. Uh, so let's count the pieces now that we've got everything off the doll. Set her on her saddle real quick. Okay. So, we've got the doll, and we've got her four hair accessories that are in there. So five, we've got her outfit, six, her overskirt, seven, cape, eight, <sighs> headband, which we probably should take this off of the plastics. Okay. Which I forgot to show you guys. The close-ups on this one. Very cute. It is done in the really shiny plastic. I don't actually love that. I wish they would have given us in the same um, like dull pearl gold that we got for literally all the rest of the accessories. Cause like this is a standout on this. Um, and also something I can't use for any other doll. Um, so I'll put that in that pile. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces, uh, counting the shoes and the earrings as pairs. Uh, you could technically count these as a pair, but 
they could be worn separately without it being, you know, the end of the world. Um, so, not bad. Uh, if you count the doll being, the doll herself being about $20 at the original price, um, so you've got, you know, $80 between all the rest of the accessories. I think she was seriously overpriced, which is why she was available so late and she went so low. Which I think is an issue that Mattel and MGA are having with their collectible, like, collectible dolls. Uh, is just that they're going so high on the price that they're losing out on their base, com base customers um, that are willing to buy things. But she's a very pretty doll. I don't love her hair just like straight out of the box. She needs a wash, honestly. Uh, I'm going to probably have to give her a little boil wash. But the pieces themselves are very nice. I think the standouts are going to be the ones that have chains. It's a nice thing to have on dolls like this, that extra actual metallic that's on there. I like the idea of the overskirt, but it's giving Jasmine energy too much. Um, again, the crown should have been done in the pearl gold with like a flexible plastic, I think. This is much more likely to break. And the fact that they only give you a ribbon to tie it on means probably not going to sit on her head too well in the long run. But she is really pretty with it on. Um, the cape, honestly, I think deserves better. Um, this could have been um, multi-material at least the blue could have been like a satin or something, but this is all um, like vinyl, except for the stitching. So everything but that is going to break down with time and become just like super fragile and things. But it does give you that really shiny gold feel that you want from this kind of doll. Um, I like the dress. I think it's giving what it needs to. Um, I just wish these back pieces were either stitched down to the actual dress, like this, on either side of the Velcro, or that they were at least like stitched together to the cowl, or the collar, whatever you actually want to call that instead of having like four just like floating seams here in the back, which theoretically are gonna get covered by the, uh, by the cape, but it's really pretty. I like the idea of this dress. I think it was done well. I think this actually detracts from the dress because I think this blue is the prettiest part on this whole outfit because it really goes with her hair color. Um, obviously the standout piece for me is this belt. It's awesome. It is well, it is an awesome mold. It is really well painted. I love the chain connections. Like this is so cute. The shoes are actually a little bit of a letdown for me. Like I get it. They wanted to make them like fierce. Um, but I hate when you have mismatched shoes. Because honestly, if you're if you're wearing heels, they match. Like most of the time. But it's very cool. I like the two-part necklace. It is very um, very old dynasty for me. I love that. Again, I love this necklace in particular because it reminds me of the Gen 1 Pharaoh character that never got a doll. So maybe I'll be able to do a mock of him 
or one of a kind. But very cool. Um, seriously overpriced at $100, though, considering that the rest of the Fear Stalls were, I think when they started out, they were 36 I could see this have been like a $60 doll, because that's still double the price of your regular dolls. $100 was stretching it. Um, very pretty. I, I can see why I was able to get it on sale. Um, but I love these uh, little uh, armbands. I might use them for Ken dolls if they don't fit my other dolls so I can stretch them around. But very cool. Again, this is the doll I bought for the pieces. Um, I'm not going to display her, even though she's really pretty. Um, she's just a little much for my collection. I have really just my Barbie and Disney dolls on display. Everything else is a uh, is an outfit donor or gets uh, given to my nieces after I finish reviewing it. So these are very cute. I'm a little sad we're not going to get more of these OMG dolls because they are a little bit more suited to the Barbie scale. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, and you know, I will see real quick. Let's see, who do I have nearby that I can use? I was gonna use my other Cleo. Because I have an extra. Let's see, where's that Cleo? Yeah, these are all. These are not my duplicates. Here's my duplicates. Uno momento, por favore. And I will show you how this fits on a Master High Dog. Even though this one that I have, I've already restyled into a cheer version. But a boom. Uh, but let's see. So again, I think most of this is going to fit our Monster High dolls. Not necessarily all of it, because uh, as you can see, they are a different shape. But it's okay. Let me take her hands off. Make it a little bit easier and quicker. And again, she's wearing a Toralai uh, Fear Spirit or whatever it was called. Uh, but let's see how well this will fit on our Clio. Because it does have the little underwear strap built in. And it is already a pretty narrow torso. So if we put that directly on there, it's a pretty good fit. You know, we can take this part and kind of snatch her in a little bit more. Just like that. Again, I think it covers up the best part, but it fits, it does snatch it a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Again, these are going to be a little, a little, um, big for her arm, but that's okay. Let's see about our favorite piece, the belt. 
again a little bit a uh, little bit big for her actual waist uh, we can kind of jerry-rig it down a little bit lower to make it uh, to make it work on her but sitting on her natural waist is gonna be too small but that just means we could use this outfit on a Barbie but if you're buying it to give it to your Clio uh, everything is gonna be a little big on her just because Monster High is actually a better fit for the standard OMG dolls, but it's still not a bad fit on the actual dress part, but all of your accessories and things are gonna be a little loose. And then I think the shoes fit, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I might be mistaken. Oh no, yeah, well, they don't fit. Oh well, that's okay. <sighs> so, if you guys have any questions on this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.